All right, one of the Senate's top Republican leaders is now admitting to having an extramarital affair. John Ensign of Nevada told reporters in Las Vegas last night that he had a relationship with a campaign staffer last year, but that he and his wife have since reconciled. Joining me live from Washington is Marianne Akers, political reporter for WashingtonPost.com. Her blog, The Sleuth, appears on WashingtonPost.com. Marianne, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Nora. So we understand and have confirmed here at NBC that Ensign told some of his Senate colleagues that his former mistress was actually trying to get some money from him. That's why he came forward. What else do we know? Well, um, if you have confirmed that, that is uh, big news um, right off the press because he had not, as of last night, answered that question. Uh, Politico and a few others had reported that the husband of the woman he had an affair with had asked for a substantial sum of money from him, which of course would be akin to extortion and possibly even bribery. Um, he did not answer the questions from the Las Vegas Sun, which of course covers Senator Ensign very closely in Nevada. Um, he, he would not answer the question of whether he did give a substantial sum of money or whether he was asked for a substantial sum of money. Um, so, and Marianne, were, is this, yeah, my ahead. understanding is that this was one of his campaign staffers that he had an affair with and that this woman was actually married to another staffer of his that worked in the Senate office, is that right? That's correct. She worked on his reelection campaign as his treasurer and also for his leadership PAC, his political action committee. And her husband was a key senior staffer in the senator's Senate office. Um, and they had been with the senator for a while. And the affair, according to a timeline produced by the senator's office, went on for about eight months. It started in late December 2007, went through August of 2008. And of course, it came, it, the affair would have started just a few months after Senator Ensign famously called on his colleague Larry Craig to resign after Craig was busted in a men's room sex sting in, in an airport in Minneapolis. Yeah, you know, it's so interesting that you say that because it was September 2007 um, when John Ensign said of his fellow Republican that his that it was embarrassing him being busted for being caught in a bathroom. And then also Ensign had called on President Clinton to resign back in 1998 over this affair that, of course, President Clinton had with uh, Monica Lewinsky. So how many people are talking about big time hypocrisy by Senator Ensign? <laughs> well, precisely. And that is the biggest charge he is facing right now, hypocrisy, um, which, it, which is always a killer in politics. So that's going to be his biggest hurdle getting over this if he has any chance. Of, of still running for president in 2012. And of course, he has given us strong hints that he is at least seriously exploring that possibility. He was in Iowa just three weeks ago. And of course, we know, yeah. Nora, that no politician accidentally goes to Iowa um, or New Hampshire. <laughs> and um, so, you know, it, it, hypocrisy is the, is the big thing here. Also, he is a member of Promise Keepers, the Christian conservative men's group. And uh, the Washington Post reported in 1999 that Ensign was one of the Christian conservatives conservatives on Capitol Hill who won't be alone with a, with a female staffer and typically will not be behind closed doors alone with any woman besides his wife. Isn't that interesting? I didn't know that. Marianne Akers, uh, TheWashingtonPost.com. Marianne, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Sure.